Gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no one will know what we're talking about. I've just, uh, of course, back chat. It's a little bit different. Cisco and I were sitting on the shelter set, if you're watching on YouTube, but we have got a little bit of a different episode today. Tell you what's not. It's not different. No. Fleet Network, power the podcast. Yep. They power it. Every <laughs> single time, they power it. We love them. What was I just doing off the top there? Can you you were being that? an NPC. And for those that don't know nah, what an NPC is. Let's not lose everybody. Nah, it's a non-player Some character. Some stupid thing happening on TikTok where yeah, people trend. pretend to be like a computer video and people are paying them to be that. Paying them that. tokens If to anyone do would like to pay Dan and I to pretend to be computer characters and like give us fake gifts that are actual real money, yeah. let us know. Backchatpodcast.com.au, backchatstudios.com.au. We'll go on live TikTok and we'll do things like <laughs> Sorry. spoil. Sorry spoil. about the start. That's bad. Yeah. No, it's all right. No, people, Hamish. No Hamish, no Hamish, because uh, a little bit later on the show, you're having a little chat with... The Traders. The Traders. Um, so we've got the lads, Warney, Cal and Roy. They uh, were formerly DT Talk a long time ago. So as we know... Dream Team. Yeah, so Dream Team. As we know, I'm a big fantasy player. Mm -hmm. um, shout out Super Coach. Sign up there if you want to. <laughs> but I love playing fantasy footy and we did yeah. the competition last year. These three boys at the end of this episode, they are the godfathers yes. of this content. Um, they're from Tassie, teachers, and now they they basically run the AFL fantasy platform. They're that they're that much it's intertwined. Crazy. So we sat with sat down with them Friday. Wasn't sure mm -hmm. where to sort of pull it together. Yeah, I think this is where it's going to live. It's and it's definitely not a dream team fantasy chat. There's like three to five minutes of just pure fantasy stuff on there. It's mostly footy talk. We shit break talk. we it's break down funny. we break down the Jared Whiteley. Absolute <laughs> meltdown, Lionel Messi grind. Come on, now. trolls. So do the right thing. Good morning. So uh, Roy, one of the lads, yep. does the best Jared Whateley <laughs> impersonation you will ever hear. Yeah. It was. I don't know if we had Jared in here or not. It could have been Jared Whateley. <laughs> it could have been Roy. It was very good. Um, I'm also heading back to Melbourne, Geelong. A uh, bit going on on family side of things. So I'm yep. heading back to see my brother. This week. So that's also a reason why this is a bit of a weird week for yeah, us. So that's right. no apologies, but it's a little bit different. Unnecessary. No, good. It's a little okay. bit different. And that comes on Great. we're gonna we'll just do our some back chat stuff now. Got Bo Waters coming out this Bo week. Bo Waters. Oh, oh man, shit. it was so good. There's so many good stories in there. One of like he's a cult hero of yep. West Coast fans. Yep. Surprising he only played 120 games. It just oh. seemed like he was as he was just always around. Injury but, ravaged. Yeah, shame. He would have played how many seasons did you go through? It was pretty similar to Butsy, really, because I got drafted yeah, together, right. retired. He retired in 2015, Butsy in 2018, so probably 12-ish. Yeah. There yeah. for a long time. There for a long time, but didn't play many games. But considering he didn't play many games and he had such an impact on the fan base, like everyone yeah. loves him, like yeah. shows the sort of player he is. A, a, a guy I know always said to me, mate, Bo Wills would run through a brick wall if you asked him to. Which is very true. Honestly, um, the brick wall, there's brick walls all around the country. There is. That are still quivering in their boots <laughs> and Bowie run around. Um, rip, right. Ripping chat, I yeah, thought. So That's coming out Wednesday. Coming out Wednesday. Hey, the back chat beer launch. Uh, so we've done the south, went all the way to the gate in Coburn. We yep. went all the way up north in my neck of the woods at the Ashby. Didn't know they had uh, resources up that way, to be honest. Yeah, so yep. Thought it'd be dirt roads and um, no. horseback. <laughs> Uh, I mean, to be honest, if I lived in an area where people just run around horses, that'd be pretty good. I got up there, very good establishment up there at the yeah, Ashby. It's a good, it's a good both, spot. Both the gate and the Ashby, the vibes has been elite. Yeah. And, and like great venues and great people, blah, but the back chat vibe. Yeah, so absolutely. We, we didn't promise anything. We're rocking up, taking back chat ales. We just want you to taste the beer, launching it at those two venues. Um, some cans available online, all sold out at Shelter, by the all way. All sold out. There's going to be just... Little sneaky re release on Patreon, I think. Patrons only. Might if you need a reason to get to Patreon right now, yeah. there's beer available very soon. Limited for our people. release. Mm -hmm. They're up here, Jaden, if you can give them a look at that. The red ones, we're going to stack this some more. We need to drink some more so we can get some more in here. Back chat ales will be released on Patreon. If you're not a patron, I guess you won't know. Yep. But the vibe. What I've loved about it is we didn't promise we weren't going to do an event up there. No, we no weren't, show we weren't or talking. Yep. We were stand up and thank everyone for coming down. Nah. We didn't even do that. No speeches. Right? So you don't even get a thank you. No. <laughs> you just rock up. You come come down, bring your mates, watch the footy, talk drink shit, beers. drink beers. Like exactly. it's been great vibes. Like we every, should do it more often. Everyone who's come has brought a bit of a crew with them. Yep. Um, at at the Ashby, there was about. Three or four crews, and then there was a few individuals rolling around. Mark Redding was there, yeah. <laughs> stuck in yep. responsibly. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been really good. So much so. So much so, yes. I think we should tease again. Yep. Our first 
live. <laughs> so this, after saying, we're not, not <laughs> promising, no, no, no promising, guests, no, no expectations. We will be doing a live show at the Paddington Ale House in Mount Hawthorne the last Monday yeah, two of weeks this time. month. Yeah, the 31st. It lands right on the very last... It is the 31st, yep. right? Yeah, last last day of the month. 8 p.m.-ish on a Monday. Yep. We'll be doing this show down at the Paddo, our local. There'll be... there'll be there, It could be your last chance to get your hands yeah. on some Backchat Ale. Because it, it, it has been on keg. So we did do the cans, but then it's been kegged around the place. This will be the last chance. I mean, uh, there's probably a little bit left at the Ashby. It wouldn't be much. She, the lady behind the bar asked, has it been going off? She said, yeah, heaps of people have been buying it. To, so, um, to give you some insight into this launch and... No, the um, Shelter boys listen to this, so shout out Shelter, big supporters of the podcast. When you make a limited release versus making a stock standard, you know, a lager, and pale, a, a pale yeah. ale, you want the lager to be amazing. You want the pale yeah, of course. When you make a limited release, yeah, you want it to be good and taste nice, but you don't want it to be too good yeah. because it's limited. Yeah, of course. If it's too good, you should have put it into the core range. Mm-hmm. Well, what's happened is the Backchat Owls, an absolute ball terror of a beer. They've made it too good. Look, not saying it's going to happen, but I think it needs to be pulled into the core range. I'd love to see that. And it's like the design's so good. Shout out to Sammy, our designer, who put into that. It's such a good beer. I'm mm-hmm. I'm going to, like, I know we have to drink it quickly, keep it fresh, drink it, um, you know, while it's, while it's good. It's going to last a while and responsibly. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm just going to hold, like, a four-pack in my fridge forever just in I've case i still got those there's uh one unnamed brand of the 2018s they're sitting around oh, somewhere yeah. i wonder what that would taste like a beer Shit. that's been sitting around. <laughs> it's gone through many many um Shit, types Harry. of weather thanks paul percy it's gone it's gone <laughs> it's gone hot cold in this garage like there's no temperature no, control not. <laughs> now you know what the beers are probably good they're probably great mate you should drink one uh that was fun i yeah, really, it really enjoyed good. it and we're going to do a live event at the paddo so stay tuned for that for the paddo just, I'll keep banging on about it. Just get down there and have a beer. No yeah. expectations whatsoever. Yeah, we're going to do our show like normal, pretend like no one else is there. And if no one is there, then that's yeah. absolutely fine. Mm. Maybe prefer yeah. that, to be honest. Uh, no, do do come along. Have some shelters. Don't come. Don't <laughs> hack the website. Do Don't not come. come to the paddo. Do not come. Do not buy the beers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, come along. It's going to be a really good time. Don't hey, come. Let's, tr- let's have some um, footy stuff. The, very, the most important thing that happened in the last week. Yeah. Sure. Eagles lost, of course. Yeah. Fremantle lost, whatever. Other yeah. things have happened. Yeah. But last week, we put a little call out for oh, Scoey. Oh, Scoey's... Why didn't I bring Scoey down here? Scoey the Eagle. So you lost... Why don't you, what is it? It's like a knitted that it's your mum made. Mate, it was... Collingwood West Coast were playing. Mm-hmm. Premiership... Uh, sorry, the grand final rematch. Five years later. 2018 prem, Premiership rematch. Yep. Uh, grand final rematch. Collingwood v West Coast. Mum knitted a Scoey, which was a bald eagle, and a Degoey, mm-hmm. which was a uh, bald blonde magpie. Blonde magpie. <laughs> Uh, bought them over here. Kids loved them. Took them to the footy. Within two hours, lost them. Yep. Gone. And they were shattered. Like, you know, when um, if there's any parents listening along or Dan, um, and Dan, uh, <laughs> when you yeah, get a toy and they lose it and it's just, it's fake disappointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're going to get some stupid matchbox. Like, you're going to get it. I'll just get yeah. another one from the IGA. Yeah, exactly. yep. These are like irreplaceable, one of a kind. Mum's needed them. Genuine disappointment tears, like shattered. Yeah. I, su- I stupidly, Hold on to your things. I stupidly, correct. I stupidly said, uh, we'll get it back. Don't worry. We'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Whatever. <laughs> the last thing I do on this earth, I'll get you scully the eagle back. <laughs> Have they been reminding you about it? Yeah. And mum's very much on my case about it. Yeah. So we put it out last week. Anyone listening along, can we find scully? I reckon within... One day, 24 hours, I had a message in my inbox, my private inbox, Scoey, we've found Scoey. So good. Eva, uh, a big shout out to Eva, had found Scoey on the walk. She put him away, took him to the footy, took him back to their house. He's been on an adventure. Ben, the old man, shout out Ben. Yep. Saw the message on Instagram. We put out a wanted notice. But he found him at the That's footy. Amazing. At the footy yesterday, West Coast Richmond, working for Fox Footy. I'm in my suit. People asking for different things, and I just see Scully coming down the front stairwell. Amazing. So got him back, and uh, a very, very strong reuniting with the children upstairs. So we've got a bit That's of footage amazing. to put together for uh, socials. Cool. I That's good. I, I was weirdly 
like confident that we're going to find I it. I was highly confident for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, I just thought, like part of you thinks like, you're never going to see that again. But for some reason, I was like, someone's got it. I said it like as if we'd have to do like a month long campaign whilst talking yeah. about how do we get it to West Coast That's to right. put on there. We so had a month of content. How, how, do, how do we get it onto Optus Stadium? <laughs> we're going to do the Optus Stadium big screen. Yeah, 24 yeah. hours. Yeah, it was that quick. Is there something else we can do? Has anyone else got any content for us to talk about <laughs> for the next month? That'd be great. I do. Holy shit. Morris Rioli. Wow. So, one of my all-time favourite moments um, of your career was watching mm. you cop a phone call from Adam Simpson I after you that. head-butted, um, was it Zach? Was it Zach Butters? Yeah. Yeah, you head-butted Zach Butters. And is that you, irony? Yeah, it is. It is. That's why I thought maybe I've got it wrong. No, got it. Thing. So, you're sitting on the bench. Did you watch this live? Yeah, I Do you remember this live? Yeah, absolutely. I screenshotted it and put it on Twitter. Mm. Um, I was watching it live and you're sitting on the bench, begrudgingly take the phone call, put it to your head and the camera worked brilliant direction goes straight up to adam simpson and he's giving some strong words and then it goes back to you and you're just sitting there on the phone like you've done a lot of great things in your career but Lost. that stood out for me as like just a funny moment great. that i've remembered great moment <laughs> uh this oh, yeah. not no one got headbutted on the weekend but we the camera of. work yeah that we know of the camera work going on to morris rioli he's just been subbed out of the game so i'm working this game for fox footy and it's my job to... Oh, of course. It was the West Coast game. I just remembered. Gosh, I, you, I, as soon as West Coast game... Have you watched this with audio? No, no, I haven't. Mate, I'm speaking over the thing. Oh, yeah. Whole, mate, Jeez. I'm going to pull it up. You have to see it, mate. I have to You're see it. You're going to have to see it. I've with just my... seen the vision, but not the audio on it. Well, okay. So I'm working the Fox footy game, and it's my responsibility as the boundary rider to talk about people who are being subbed off. Yes, right. So he's been subbed off. Yes. Right? Uh, so I'm chatting through... I, I talk to my producer, I say, Nicole... Um, it, uh, Morris Rowley's been subbed off. Can you get me a shot so I can talk about Bang? Yep. Coming up, Bang. Hey, boys, just confirming Morris Rioli has been subbed off. Anyway, listen to what I had to say. Okay. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> so, he's been offered the uh, phone by Ivan Marek, who, uh, former Richmond player, Ruck, Ruckman, now running the bench down there at Richmond, assistant yep. coach. And he has not... Well, I saw it coming from so far away. I'm watching they've, the vision. They've got as, the phone touching his arm as well. <laughs> he's just it. holding up. Like, Morris Rioli's really been subbed out. I'm like, he's not going to take that phone call. <laughs> Throws up the arm, doesn't want to speak. I think it's a vehicle straight to the VFL for the young fella. Yep. Andrew, Andrew McGalter, young coach, has come out and said, oh... We'll talk him through it. He's done all the, you know, young bloke trying to make his way in the AFL, all this yep. bullshit. He's copping it. Did he Monday. deserve to be... So, like, you were watching the game. He had six touches. Right. He so was, he, was, he was having a stinker. He needed stinker. Yeah. yeah. So what what do you think they would have been actually saying to him on the phone? If Try, he, trying to have a chat to him about why he'd been subbed off. Because clearly, yeah. without knowing him, he looks like a confidence player. He's, yeah. a, he's a small forward that like, like likes impacting games. Classic Rioli. So when you... Yeah, well, correct. Um, but like, if you're not impacting the game drops your confidence and they probably don't want to have a chat to him and just you know, reaffirm it and just say, yep. don't worry, you're not getting dropped or all that stuff. But adversely, he's absolutely pissed off that he's off the ground, that he has the impact of the game, doesn't want a bar of it. Look, I don't I don't think it... It depends how they handle it. He's a young player. If, if that's a senior player, if that's me coming off after headbutting Zach Butters and I yep. say, I'm not talking to Simo, probably never play the AFL again. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Oh, wow. Like, if you can't cop the heat after doing something stupid yep. like that... But a young player who's out of confidence that's just getting a phone call to be like, it's okay, mate. Like, yep. get, you know, ice the hammies up. You'll be fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. There's been a lot of beat up about it. I, I just think it's hilarious. It is funny. Yeah, I, I love that. It just He looks straightforward the entire time. Doesn't even acknowledge the fact that the phone's there and just <laughs> flick, flings the hand away. <laughs> hey, uh, you were just talking about icing the hammies. Jindy. Oh, the boy. You, you, I did listen to this part. You were saying it's probably pretty precautionary. Like, it looked, I don't, I don't it know. looked it, mate. Like he, he, it, he, when you do a hammy, a proper hammy, right? Like a big one might be like a four or five weeker. You, you struggle to walk properly. You're yeah. Really limping. He was walking up and down the boundary. I saw him jog at one stage and pick something off the ground. So it'd be a really right. precautionary low level one, yeah. which is great for West Coast fans. But geez, I'll <laughs> start off with the boy went down. Jeremy McGovern went to HIA. Tom Barras almost broke his neck. Oh my gosh. Know. Trying to bicycle kick. Correct. And there's another one that I can't think of right now. There was all, all sorts of shit happening. Yeah. So Andrew Gaff comes on. Oh yeah. Uh, after being subbed the first time he, was it the first time he'd not been listed in the team when he is not injured or something? Like Excuse since, me? Since, since his rookie. Excuse me. 
game. What's that? Like he hasn't been dropped. It might not have been dropped. So nah. he's only ever missed he games due to been, injury. He, yeah, you're right. He wouldn't have been dropped. So it's the first time that he hasn't been named in yeah, well, the 22. About, about time some of these blokes start experiencing the highs and lows of being dropped. I've got, I do a show on Friday <laughs> nights with David Mundy. He played, what did he play? 370-something games? Yeah, 500 about, games. How many games did he play? Something like that. Oh, look. 378. He was never dropped at any level, <laughs> not once, in his whole career. Do you know how rogue that is? <laughs> David Mundy, 376, yeah. the games record holder of the Freo Dockers, never dropped, and he retired without being dropped. I think that's a disgrace. So, so Gaffey was in similar areas. That is, is it getting dropped when he made, named a sub? Yeah, that's absolutely technically. Oh, yeah, he's got. Yeah, he's got dropped. What, why? And he just plays a very good game after that. Well, sometimes you just need a mental, like a mental break from if you're in a form slump. Like Gaffey's been no good for a month or so, and and he knows he's he said that as well. That's not being critical of him. He's just yeah. haven't been playing well. Sometimes like just a bit of a circuit breaker like that. Right, I'm dropped. I've got to prove myself, and then you get this rogue opportunity to go and do that. Yeah. Sometimes it flips you back into action. Talking about senior players that played a lot of games that um, never got dropped. Josh Kennedy and Mark Lacroix come to mind. Now, they played a yes. game on the weekend together uh, mm. for Jero, I believe. Maybe yep. Northampton. Northampton or something. Um, like and Josh Kennedy's kicked three goals to, you know, Coleman medalist, all Australian. He's done a fair bit for the game. Goals record holder, all of that. He's kicked three goals to. It doesn't look like he's come too much of a peg down. Mark Lacroix, best and fairest winner at West Coast. Yep. Premiership player. Yep. One of the great small forwards the club's ever seen. 13 goals, 14 goals one time, 12. Not this game. 0-0, zero, <laughs> zero, Mark Lacra. Ooh, ah, uh, Mark Lacra. You're no good, mate. Welcome to retirement. How, That's good. Mate, I kicked a goal playing in the waffle, and you yeah. couldn't kick one playing <laughs> down at the, the, the fucking Divi 5 resis down at Jero, up at Jero, Northampton. Yeah, Northampton. Zero, zero. Lecker. Hey, <laughs> hey, mate, it's not hard. It's not hard. I could do it against the bloody ravaging East Fremantle side. <laughs> Tell you what, that shit out, Lecker. Real bad. He, didn't he, when we spoke to him on Backchat, very good episode, go back and have a listen. Didn't he, hadn't he come freshly off yeah. a state game where he kicked like yeah. 17 goals? Not state like, No, no, he was running around um, doing his thing. In the, yeah, some, similar leagues. Some rogue league. Yeah, not anymore. Welcome to retirement, big fella. <laughs> That's great. Too many beers on him. He'd um, have a big beer gun as well. Rochelle has punched Jack Buckley. We strike. He struck him. Gonna, it, was a, it was a punch. I'm going to have a step into the coach's office here. Right. Okay. This is the Will Schofield Backman coach's office. And Josh mm -hmm. Rochelle, I've got a few words for you, mate. If you think you can run around and act like you're Eddie Betts, act like you're Gary Ablett Jr., some of the great forward mids of the competition yep. of all time, mm -hmm. if you think you can run around kicking goals, unaccountable, and strike struck one of the game's great dour defenders premier if you think you can strike back chat's own yeah jack buckley hands off in the face let, let, let alone you like you don't even deserve to be in his personal space yeah. josh i'm telling you if you do that again you're done <laughs> you're done you're done <laughs> Jack Buckley, Jack yeah. Buckley, as honest as they come, goes around, plays with the opponent, spoils, gets the yep. job done. Of course, you don't need to be dodging fists. No, right? Give right. Him he fists. gives fists. Yeah, to the he's ball. a fister. He's a fister. Jack to the ball. He's a fister. Not to people's faces. Josh, you want to? If you want to punch, mate, you go down to the back line. You punch the footy. No punching at any heads, mate. Yeah, hands off. I wasn't happy with that at all. No, I wasn't happy. And the other thing about it is that, like, he was like. Darting around trying to find someone to do yeah, something. He was to. steaming. No, I, was I like that, mate. He, he was, was steaming. steaming. <laughs> he painted a punch up earlier with um, the loud. Uh, who hit him? Oh, I can't think of his name. Midfielder from GWS. He'd just been in a scrap with him. Yeah. And then he kind of slipped and he hit him high and he was steaming around. <laughs> I, I like that. I think element. Buckley was like the third person he went to after it. And then he punched him. The yeah, Jack was late to the party. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part was like, is he copped the hit, didn't respond at all, and just pointed straight at the umpire. He's like, hey, yeah. did you see that? Like I wonder if Jack, down. I wonder if Jack's happy with I wonder if Jack's happy with going What, down. ratting? No, uh, good. Rat. Well, Rat away. I'm, I'm changing my tune here. <laughs> I did say that. Very quickly onto the umpires, Jack. Just get on with it, mate. If you get hit in the face, like Zach Bucket Zach Buckers. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Butters did with my head. You continue on. I got five this week, uh, in tipping. Yes. You got four. See and we are I got seven on the shelter footy cast. I literally must just yeah, you, Do you know what I mean? I, I just are you forgetting to put your tips in? No, absolutely not. No, they went in. 
So you and I Seven are separated by one tip. Are we? Yeah, Who's I've got winning? 95, you've got 90, 94. So by the tip. Yeah, just a tip. So 157th in the league, I am. You're 168th due to margin and, and the tip. Uh, we got two brothers. I think they're brothers. They've just got the last name. Or their husbands or their yeah. cousins. I don't know. R- relation? Webby. The Webby boys. Really? They've come in hot for this round. So uh, Webby G, which is Grant, I believe, got eight this week. One point margin. Tip Adelaide against GWS. Yeah, tough pick that one. So did his brother or cousin or friend that both have the last name Webby. <laughs> Paul, they both got eight, except Paul got the four point margin. But you know what? He's probably going to share the two. So Grant got the two fifty bucks yeah. down at the camp. I'd say they're, prob- they're probably going to share it. Still waiting for the first photo to come in from people enjoying their time down at the camp field. <laughs> has, has Pat gone? Pat yeah. hasn't. Pat's saving okay. his five hundred. He wants to. He wants to add to. Set, he wants to add he to seven fifty. He wants to go again. <laughs> so there's some sort of tipping um, quality within my wife's family. So Patrick, right. my father-in-law, he's won twice around, which is yep. like you got to just pay it. It's. It's. I, I'd it's there for everyone to love see. to not award it to family mm-hmm. members, but they have won it fair. Like, go and check it. Like, if I win a round, I'm taking the 250. No, you're not getting the 250. Okay. <laughs> That's bullshit. Uh, my wife, there's yep. a competition on AFL.com today called The Eliminator. I don't know if you started Oh, yeah, it. yeah. I forgot she, to get involved in that. She's still in it. So you It started with 120,000 people. There's yep. about 2,000 people left. You pick one team a week. Yep. You can only tip... Once you've tipped a team, you can't tip them for the rest of the year. And they have to win. Right, to stay so in. in. round five, I think it started. If you pick Collingwood round five, you can't pick them for the rest of the year. So you whittle them down, right? So someone's tipped West Coast round two or whatever. Well, Probably. not sure. Well, no, so it started in round five because there's only 18. There's only right. 18 to do. Right, so, so you, at some point you have to tip West Coast. There's four weeks left um, and there's about a thousand people left and she's still in it. It's been a, it's been a journey. That's huge. It's been a big journey. What do you get? Is there a prize if you win? Yeah, it's, it's shit house. It's what? a thousand bucks. It's less than our prize for our tipping. <laughs> How's it? Isn't ours two thousand bucks? I think so. Yeah, mate, it is a joke. <laughs> AFL, that I mean, joke or we just we just reward the people. Two thousand dollars on the line. You don't have the um, total score there. Who's in front? Who's actually leading? Uh, of us. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Now you okay. keep running the show, mate. I'll have a look. While you're doing that, Jaden, I'm going to talk you through something because I've got to do with this before. We got to do Swimply the best. Now, yeah. you know where it is. Oh. You got it ready? Boy. Can you go? <laughs> You're Swimply the best. Dan goes, I don't want a headphones. I don't want to wear them. Play it I again. I forgot Dan. about Swimply. Shove yeah. up your ass. <laughs> You're Swimply the best. Swimply the best, of course. Uh, the, th- the three best moments of the round voted by, uh, well, actually, we pick them, then you we vote on the, the winner. Three. Yeah, we we pick, pick the, the three. three. You pick the best. Um, the, the the leader at mm. the moment. Um, wow. Wax Wildcats, Jackie Fuller. And when I say Jackie, I mean Jack. He is <laughs> on 115, sitting pretty. Right. 20, oh. About 20 ahead of us. Well, not looking for us, mate, because we are no <laughs> chance. Uh, it there's then four four tips break to Cal Levitt. He's on really? 111. Matt Harris also on 111. Trevor Smith on 110. Then a couple of uh, boys and girls on 109. Ethan and Michael. So right. so with the Weber the Webby guys, they were I think 20th and 25th or something. So it just yeah. shows you don't need to be at the very top. That's to the, the point I'm making. Voucher. But right now Jack Fuller's got two thousand dollars in his back pocket. That's huge. Burning a That's hole gonna be in it. burning absolutely. <laughs> Is four points a safe margin? You just got to, what do you do? You just got to keep tipping. Favorites? Tipping I don't, favorite? Neither I don't you or I are the ones yeah. to talk about tipping, to <laughs> no be honest. Clue. I'll ask my wife. Uh, all right, we've got three moments. We're not going to play them right now because we're doing something a little bit different, but they will be on um, social media tomorrow. We've got we're, three moments. You don't have to lie to the people. We're not prepared in any no, no, shape no. or form. Scoey's throwing everyone out. So we're just going to do back chat at you know, 11 o'clock on a Monday. Yeah. So we've got Jasper it. Fletcher, intercept and goal. Right, you want to talk me through that? No, I don't remember that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, neither do I. But Jake, pa- Jake Melksham match winner. Do you want to talk me through that? Uh, I watched a little bit of the end of that game when Hipwood thought he'd marked the ball. That's the very end. That's the very, very do, end. But does that, was, was that Jake Melksham? No. <laughs> it was. So what happened? So, what, okay, it sounds like you didn't watch it. Why don't you try and why don't you try and think about like make something up that happened? Tell the people what Jake happened. Jake Melksham, like, so he got subbed onto the game, came steaming into fifty. Smothered the ball, smothered Teresa, <laughs> and 
and grabbed the ball off the ground, snapped it off from the boundary and kicked a goal with like 20 seconds to go for the win. Uh, it was incredible. It was sort Similar? of like that. Uh, <laughs> Melbourne kicked a couple of goals late. Jack Viney kicked one of the goals of the round, I thought, ripped it out of the hands of big O, Oscar mm-hmm. Manganin, and put him within, within a goal. In, out, in plays after that. Uh, big kick in on our, our big favourite of ours, Harris Andrews. Yep. Jakey Melksham took a pack mark, 45 out, went back with about 45 seconds to go, slotted it from 50. Huge. Big, big moment. Okay. And then the th- moment you're talking about is there was a scrimmage, 30 seconds left, transition down the play. Then there was a mark between Lever. Yeah, between Lever and Hipwood. Mm-hmm. That was Lever's mark every day of the week. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you saw that either. No, they're both claiming that they got the money. All right, it was here we just... go. I'm watching the intercept goal. Yeah, Riley liked that. Riley liked uh, it. Riley liked it. Uh, last one. Wasn't that good? Uh, Shy Bolton. Mark. Shay Bolton. Shay Bolton. Mark. Don't remember seeing it. What, you didn't watch the West Coast game? Uh, no, I did. Have you given up? No, I haven't given up. Would you say I watched it on the drive home from Mandra on my was, phone? Was the Sydney was the Sydney trip? Was that a nail in the coffin? You, you moved no, on from the West I'm Coast. Watching, uh, for for a period so Shay Bolton took one of the great speckies on the weekend. I don't remember it. All right. So if you want to hear what the big moments of the round are, <laughs> tune in to Dan Const, who hasn't watched any footy this week. No, what, Shay no, Bolton, big screamer, absolute big screamer. ripper. All right, that goes up on socials tomorrow. You was, vote for it. There'll it, be a winner. You have to guess who it was on. Uh, it was on a West Coast player. Would have been in the back line. Yes, that's correct. Um, Witherden? No. McGovern? Yes. He always cops them, doesn't he? That's why he? I thought you might get it. Yeah, it was on Gov. <laughs> Showing his head. Shame. Unlucky Gov. Shame. He copped, a, he copped a footy boot. He copped a footy boot to the lip, Gov, and I've interviewed him at half time. So right before we go on. What, from that, Mark? Or no, from... no. So did you watch the game? It doesn't sound like you did, mate. <laughs> I did. Nah, it doesn't sound it like you did. I on my phone. First three minutes of the game, Gov got kicked in the face. Yeah, right. That's why he went off. Yes. Yeah. Got an HIA assessment. So I interviewed him at half time, and right before the cameras come on, I'm like, you right, mate? And he's, he's got his fat, hot lip. <laughs> like, I've got Beyonce lips here. I <laughs> We're about to go on like, shut the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, there you go. Vote on that. Let's go straight to the Back Chat Backman Award because we've got three stellar dour Backman to give some props to. Now, <laughs> you, yeah. you saw something on Twitter today and you gave a little love. GWS, GWS putting GWS. photos up of their back lines. A few of them that shirtless. That doesn't happen often. A few of them shirtless. Yep. High level content. Buckley GWS. Like, is in the training jacket. You yeah, know, like he's, 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 I reckon he's covered up. I reckon he's put a shirt on after the game. He's taking his jumper off and then yep. the photos come out. He said, I'm just going to keep the ladies under wraps. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the Backman way. Award we give here at Back Chat. Yeah. I think it's gaining some traction. So again, keep referring to work in this game. West Coast, Richmond. I'm just standing there minding my own business. Richmond have just warmed up. Mm-hmm. Um, they're running back inside to get their jumpers on and go back out. Running off. I've had nothing to do with Dylan Grimes my whole career. Uh, respected him from afar, but I've never spoken to You're him. Up ends of the field. Might have sh- sh- uh, shook his hand at the end of games, that sort of stuff. Yep. He has given me the sky <laughs> thumbs up. I-, I reckon Richmond know all about this award. All right, they've got a few players going well in it. Tyler Young's been very good this year. Yep. I think I think it's starting to get traction around the competition. I and, hope so. And if it's not, it's time. listeners, please spread the word to mm-hmm. Backman around the comp. That yep. the Back Chat Backman Award is the only award in the country that's actually paying homage to real Backman. Doing real Backman things. Gone Fist is, we've just spoken about it. Yeah, it's, it's a shell it's, of what it was. It's a shell. Mm-hmm. Not this. Can I give you the, the one vote, two vote, three vote? Do I get to award any or is it you just... Don't. I'm okay. giving him st- Just no amount. I'll tell you a bit about each player. Right. Just give me from a from One a vote, one. Dougal Howard. Oh, Dougal. Of course Dougal gets a vote. He, uh, we had a little bit of a look at some of the things he's been doing. He loses very, very minimal one-on-one contests inside D50. Mm-hmm. We saw some great stats oh, on yeah. AFL.com. Dougal Howard, he's a special player. Special. Playing for a special football club. And if I'm Bruce Mackey, Fanny, I claim special. He'll be All-Australian this year, Dougal Howard. One vote. Two votes. Tom McCartan. 
Tommy McCartan's back, yeah. is he? Second time he's gotten votes Tom- in, in the uh, award. Well, it's been difficult to uh, get uh, votes because he's been on the sideline uh, concussion. Um, and we're not obviously talking about Paddy, but Tom has also been out with concussion as well. Yeah, uh, that's right. Tom, good player. Didn't that happen the same round? Big intercept marker. Will he be getting worried with rumours that Tom Barras comes towards uh, that end of the right. woods? Don't know. Signal players. Maybe they'll be... Maybe he's trying to win the award. Maybe if he wins this award, maybe Tom Barras <laughs> doesn't get to Sydney. <laughs> uh, three votes. And oh, he's gotten votes before. Ryan Gardner. He's bloody gotten yeah. votes before. Ryan Gardner, one of the most dour operators in the competition. Western Bulldogs would be nowhere without him. Uh, I'm going to give you the top five because we have a new entrant into the top tell five. Me, uh, tell me it's Dougal. Dougal Howard enters oh, with nine votes. Oh, Jack Buckley. It's been on nine for a while. Yeah, Jack, you need to get moving, mate. Yep. You need to get moving. Not long left now. You need to get moving, Get son. the job done, mate. Jack Buckley, fourth place on nine votes. Tom Barras and Sam Collins linked with 11 votes on second and third. Harris Andrews, well ahead with 14. Well, I'll tell you why Harris didn't get votes this week. You know, his opponents kicked the match winner. Unfortunately... Yeah, I'm not going to get it done, Harris. That might be part of our, no, our filtering yeah. system. If your opponent kicks a match winner, you don't get votes. So there's some closing to be done. Mm-hmm. Still very much doable. How many rounds left? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So five rounds. Mm. Uh, anything could happen. Could even take it into finals. Don't know. No, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Why not? Well... I guess, I guess, what if like a... Backs win premierships, mate. Yeah. And so if backs win premierships, what if you so, need to be playing okay, in a so good back line to win the Backman Award. Does any, other, does any other award do that? No, they don't. Okay, so I'm just going to throw one at you then. Asaba Radigalia, yep. he's on four votes, right? Yeah. Let's say um, they, Geelong make it all the way to the grand final yep. and he plays, they, you know, more it, finals yep. and no one else does. Yep. It'll be on the back of their back line, mate. So, all right. no problem no, whatsoever. I'm not, I'm not hey, opposed I'm just, to it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying it's an option. Yeah, I like the option. We, we haven't really given a whole lot of details around how we're doing this and I'm just saying it's an option. Yeah, I like it very much. doesn't uh, sound like you did because you're no, against No, I just don't want to put an option and out. the high inflection so, tells me you really don't. <laughs> I don't really know about it. Uh, one last thing before we hear a little bit about Fleet Network. Do you want to give the trades, uh, the DT guys? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're just getting ready to spoil. Uh, That's yeah. what we're about to hear. The traders. Mm-hmm. Uh, the traders, DT, DT Talk. Um, like I said, these guys are OG content guys in fantasy land. Well, they've built a massive audience off the back of sitting around having beers, talking talking yarns. Yep. Um, so it, it's pretty good insight into, into sort of how they've done that. Um, we go through a few AFL current issues at the moment, uh, specifically uh, integrity and honesty from football clubs around releasing oh, yeah. names, right, of who's playing and who's not and mm-hmm. injuries. Uh, get right into depth about Jared Waitley. Of course. I've enjoyed that the most. Talk about my mate Steen, who's in the top five in the country right now in uh, fantasy. Insane. Um, so 15 years of playing this, I don't think I was finished inside the top thousand. He's been in the top five all year. He moved up to fourth this week. Is he regularly He's good? equal third. Oh no, no, no one does this. No one does this regularly. It's huge. The That's pressure great. involved with being on top there, making some changes there. It's good fun chat. Um, and we uh, get into the beers a little bit. and um, Get into like some back end appreciation of how that can potentially work with Dream Team. Chat. So it's very um, good. Enjoy the back end there. Um uh, I won't be away, so I'll just be away for this week, but I'll probably talk to you next week. It's mm. good. Let's do this. And Ham will be back next Monday. Sign up to Fat Chat. Head to Patreon. Our sponsors, yeah. because I don't think I'd give them any love at the end of this one. Shelter, Whippersnapper, Margaret River Roasting Co., Swimply the Best, um, Swimply, uh, Little Cameras. The Fleet Network, baby. Yeah, of course. Looking to save thousands on your next car and bundle your running costs, Hammer? Yes, I am. <laughs> Look no <laughs> further than Fleet Network. I thought you might be. Salary package your car and unlock savings and benefits with a Novated lease. Nova Ted, yep. Novated leasing, you'll use your pre-tax income to pay for your car and running costs like fuel, servicing, rego, insurance. I wonder if they pay fines. They better. Parking mm. fines, speeding fines. You paid mine yet? Yep, fine. You have? Yeah, I've done it. Okay, thank you. This lowers your taxable income, saving you money. You should worry about this because bringing that taxable income, that big one of yours that you're rolling around with, saving you money and reducing the cost of running your car, your repayment is drawn from your salary so you don't need to do a thing, Hammer. Wow. Not not needing to do a thing. That's got to be a positive. I mean, I do like doing no things. (laughs) What's more, they'll source your choice of car from their nationwide supplier network and negotiate exclusive 
discounts. It sounds like Patreons. Mm. And I mean patrons. <laughs> Plus, you pay no upfront fees and no GST on your car's purchase price. As no beta leasing and salary packaging experts for more than 25 years. How old are you? I'm 25. There you go. Okay, oh, thank you. Wow. Me Fleet, and Nova Ted. Fleet Network will make your move to Novated Leasing simple and stress-free. Getting started is easy. Contact Fleet Network today or visit their website, www.fleetnetwork.com.au to get started and feel the freedom of Novated Leasing. I know you don't like them when I say www. You didn't put a dot yeah, after it. Yeah, www.fleet. I think there's a dot in there. Okay, you, you guys figure it out. You know what to do. Fleetnetwork.com.au. No! I've seen people do a bit of a rock, paper, scissors while we're playing that music along. You sit there, stuff, <laughs> mullets, boys. Uh, we're very happy here at Back Chat to be joined by what do I call you these days? Dream Team Talk Traders. Royalty. The royalty. Royalty. Fucking Fantasy <laughs> royalty. <laughs> Goats. Get that thrown in. Battlers. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Just morons from Tasmania. We got, we got Warnie with Cal, got Roy from uh, the Traders. You'd know them across the AFL. You'd, you'd know them if you play Dream Team, Fantasy, whatever it's called these days. I've been a massive, massive fantasy guy for my whole life, and it's a privilege to have you in here, boys. It's great to be here. Yeah, it's great to be here. Good setup. Great setup. Yeah, we're Fully <laughs> all, setup. all the way from Tassie. You've got you on the beers, on the shelters, if you don't mind. How are they tasting, boys? They're good. Going down good. very yeah. well. We literally... Considering we uh, drank a lot last night. <laughs> the irresponsible. We were, we were at the um, casino sports bar on a Thursday night. Yes. Until about at 3. 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It, was, it was late. Did you walk out with any money in your pockets or? No. Did you didn't even have a punt? No, we didn't. Nah, just got carried away drinking. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> 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 oh, good. Well, good to see. We kick it off the next day straight back on the shelters. We've got our back chat ale on the way. It is. You know, I'm just watching Looking it right now. It. It's it's getting sherpered here. Oh. Shout out Sherpa. <laughs> yes. uh, it is on an animal on the way here. Um, <laughs> but boys, I want to ask, so every guest we ever have on, we ask the same question. And I feel like it would be uh, really poor by me not to. I'm going to ask you all. We know what you've done in the fantasy land, right? We know you can all probably build a th top thousand team. <laughs> Oh, Maybe. A legend. I'm Maybe. worried where this is Once going. Once upon a time. Where's this going? I'm giving you, that's my, my props to you, but I want to say I don't care just for the moment. I want to know your greatest sporting achievement. So when we get elite athletes sitting in the chairs, which I'm not saying you are or aren't, right? Okay. But it's probably closer towards aren't at this stage. Uh, I want to know your greatest sporting achievement. When we get the elite athletes in, we say you can't pick something in your chosen sport, right? So if Sam okay. Kerr was sitting here, I don't want to hear about kicking goals for Chelsea. Right. No, no. I want to hear your greatest sporting achievement, and you may pick whatever sport you like. Okay, that's a good question. One oh. by one. Okay. Cal, let's go. Uh, I'm trying to think. So I was never really a footballer. We played basketball. Yes. So I guess my You're greatest sport. Premiership player. Of yeah. Foot oh yeah, yeah, but I. <laughs> so like I'm talking. I'm so, so this here, right? This yep. this nut was five for sixteen in an under twelves grand final. Dan Const nice. is. Behind the panel today, we want to make sure this one was recorded because last time we had someone <laughs> press the record button. He he bowled pies for five for sixteen. <laughs> I I was an under nine eighty meter hurdle state champion, so it doesn't nice. need to be you know winning a premiership. Have anyone though. got one? Oh, I've got multiple. You would have. <laughs> 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 Which one are you going to pick though? I don't know. I think. Um, I'm going to go the one where, so we were all living together. And as Cow said, him and I were more um, basketball background. But Dog was... Pendles. Um, <laughs> yeah, Pendles. Um, Dog was, <laughs> at space. the same time, he was... So you were vice captain and assistant coach of a local footy team. Anyway, captain. so... Captain. Captain. Oh, my bad. <laughs> captain. <laughs> so... We, of a Saturday morning, um, every now and then he would knock on our bedroom doors and go, it's time to notch up one of those games, boys, because if we, right. if we Did had two five, reserves. yeah, if we had five <laughs> games throughout the year, it qualified us for finals. All right. Anyway, so our basketball finals were finished and we'd hit our five games. So then we were all into Warn Dogs um, footy team and we made the, the GF. That's right. And I hate to talk it up, but yeah. I had a day out. <laughs> really? I was on the ball. I was getting tagged. I think I had I had 30 plus touches, three goals, 150 fantasy points. Yeah. 
Went Big home day. with two medals that day. You won the norm. Yeah. But he won the norm. Did he? Boys? <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. So you won a flag together. Well, but yes, I, is, but this I've is never about, had a fucking group. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We had a flag. I helped pad your stats. You did. I yeah. remember that. We you, were you got the trophy though, the best off the bench. Where were you playing, Cal? Oh, he yeah, started this is, on the pine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> were you the captain? You started him there. All year. It was harsh. All year, yeah. every game I filled in, like centre half forward, you know, Big Nick unit. Rewell, unorthodox. Big unit. Yeah. I kicked five a game. <laughs> you did snag him, right? And then for this Your little final, feet, he's got size eight feet. That's you dope. should see them run around. The, that's got real Josh, Josh Kennedy type vibes. He's got oh, small really? feet. Yeah, yeah. Feet. no wonder you could kick it so Too right. <laughs> so I went out. Too right. And he's held up the, um, <laughs> the coach's <laughs> board, right? Yes. And I'm like looking for my name. Oh, yeah. It's on the bench. And I was, I was like, what the hell, mate? And he goes, I'll try and something a bit different, Dave. Like a strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding your best player. Yeah. On, that's why I didn't get the norm. Because <laughs> I was on the point. The point. And who yeah. was tagging you, Roy? Who was there. tagging you, Roy? I don't remember. No um, one. No, bloody Clinton Saney. Yeah. <laughs> good footballer. Good basketballer, yeah. too. He was, actually. Yeah, I'll tell you yeah, what, he, he, he put in hard yards for a quarter. He knew he was. Yeah, was it no Div match. 2 or was it no. Div 5? What are we talking about? She was. It was deep. It was <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was it? Division two reserves. The <laughs> <So. laughs> Resi Div two. The old Launcestonians. Oh, what, what were you uh, doing, Warney? Well, uh, so I was uh, toe poking goal. I was <laughs> lucky to day. be getting on the ground after actually qualifying. All these blokes actually that, nearly sorry, saw me out of the captain. team. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Captain. That's the issue. It did put a squeeze Kept on. Getting all these guys <laughs> in there, and I was, it was probably the twenty second man. I reckon there were the dudes the that had played twenty two games. That oh yeah, it was bad. Out. <laughs> and then he comes in and he got played his five games to qualify. <laughs> That's how you win flags. And just um, I remember the um, stat padding you were talking about yeah. out on the wing. Oh, yeah. There was like um, the the senior team. So the, the teams were actually quite strong because you know what it's like when um, the the Div One teams have knocked out of finals. All of a sudden, yes. their players yeah. filter yeah. down into down. the, yeah. the yeah. ones oh, playing yeah. the twos final. Correct. So. They were reasonably strong teams, but the the rest of the opposition Div One were parked in their Utes up the side, up the <laughs> wing there, and they were blind. And a lot of them um, knew us from basketball, and we copped. Oh yeah, like it was nasty <laughs> verbals. But it was fair. It, it was fair. It was fair. We were copping it, but the only thing we could do to respond, we were like, "Let's pad the stats." Oh, we did. So it was like. Back, it was like the um, Bowden brothers. brothers. <laughs> yeah, it was Patrick like, and Joel. Yeah, Patrick, Patrick the, Joel. Patrick, back to Patrick. Patrick, the un, the forgotten. Yes, Bowden yeah. yes. No, so we we did the Bowdens, didn't we? Yeah, and it was glorious. It was a, it was a day out. So for everyone who's just tuning in, <laughs> is wondering what the fuck is going on. <laughs> can, can we can we give some context to who you blokes are? Uh, Tasmanians, clearly, <laughs> right? And I say that in the nicest way possible yeah, yeah. because you, you drink beer and can talk shit, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, you've been, David Clarence you, Boone. You look, I, I look at you guys as OG, OG <laughs> podcast content creators. I, I've been following you blokes since I was in year seven, basically. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what are you? For people that don't play fantasy, dream team, what, what, what are you blokes doing down so, at the, the little yeah, aisle? You explain so it, we dog. started, you we were living together in 2007. Yeah. Well, a couple of years before that as well. And we just talked about fantasy footy dream team as yeah. it was back then. And one of our mates started a little blog and we thought, well, let's put a little video together. Blog, this how is, good. This is it was like blogspot.com or something. Like <laughs> typically if you're, yes. a, you know, 20 years ago, just about that yeah. is. So um, living together, we talked a lot of shit. Yep. Like it literally, we thought let's record. It was school holidays. So we're teachers in our uh, day job. So, um, on a Wednesday night in the school holidays, let's put a little video together. And this is even back in the day. So YouTube, you're only allowed to upload 10 minutes. Mm. And so we really? literally sat there and we're recording on this little DSLR camera thing and it was fucking shit. The audio was awful. Bottle of bunny and, in. And, and we had drunk as shit. Like, <laughs> like, there was a clock in the background. And it was like near midnight or whatever. And so we put this together. Black and white TV. And yeah. some of the stuff like, was but that's like pre-podcast. Yeah, like so was, effectively, like that really there wasn't podcast. Was. There wasn't no. a podcast at that time. No. So we're doing that. And so we put it up there. It got a thousand views, like because there wasn't any fantasy or dream team content out there at all. Like yeah. you had mm. Monty and his fan footy website that yep. you looked at your scores on and yes. stuff. And that was about as far as it went. There, was, there mm. wasn't Twitter there. There wasn't the social stuff. MySpace was probably the only um, cool. social platform. That was cool. <laughs> well, pick, your, pick your song for the profile. Yeah. <laughs> Make your top eight friends good, and yeah. stuff like that. But we, um, yeah, so we started doing that and we thought, oh, well, let's keep going the next week and just kept building momentum and people liked it for some reason because I guess we are just three dickheads that like drinking beer and just um, <laughs> talking yeah, rubbish. Pretty and much, yeah. Like, because that's, I think that's probably then 
going on or almost our success is because you can always get your your ex-athlete talking about stuff but we're just the normal people that are living and breathing the game and i think that's what people related to so yeah 2007 started doing our own thing youtube then we made our own website and started uh blogging ourselves and <laughs> creating some stuff and got a pretty decent following and the afl were always doing their own um fantasy content yeah. but it was shit. It was so <laughs> bad. I'm bad. glad you said it. Yeah. And so, like and people that. saw through it. Like it was. Who that, was it? James Hurd and Wayne Swat. Oh, that, Swatter did it. Did Wayne Swat did it. Um, with Francis Leach, actually. It was. Right. Yeah, it it wasn't good. No. It was try hard. <laughs> Well, they were fed lines to say they didn't buy into it. Then they had this Doctor Dream Team character, which oh, boy. is actually oh, Cow Two. So, was it? Yeah, Cow Two. I remember Doctor Dream Team. Yeah, so and don't was poor. Name and shame. <laughs> you have, so, yeah, he's no, released Cow, the fucking Cow's, skeleton. I think he's actually said it. Um, oh, has he? He, he has now. Oh there, yeah. goodness me! <laughs> anyway, don't Where? sue me. Um, right, but yeah, and then and then they've gone. Punters are going like, you know, these boys are doing a good job of what they do. Get them to do your fancy stuff. And so the and with some, some tense negotiations and <laughs> gave us a couple of bags of chips and said, oh, fuck yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we're in. We're in. So the gold up. Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, there's so, so many like, um, sorry to interrupt, <laughs> but like just stupid little things. Like we were speaking off air earlier, like yeah. you understand like our Billy, <laughs> Billy Birmingham. Yeah like Top references yeah. constantly whereas people don't un understand it but it's still funny because they're funny quotes but the music can i just quickly <laughs> say like the music that we have always started our show with right oh yeah so it's just such a tazzy like in-house joke yeah so we still use it for our dt talk stuff but it like goes do 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 right anyway we cut that <laughs> off in tazzy i don't know what happened but there was this massive campaign from some sort of Christian, Christian television organisation type thing trying to it get was like recruiting everyone to sign up. But there were these ads <laughs> that we can still to this day yeah. go word for word. It was like brainwashing shit. And what's that have to do with you? Well, this is so we, this is a we song. took the song of our intro <laughs> from one of, these. of this Christian television. <laughs> it was like Jesus is still all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> so our it went, Jesus is still all right with me. Jesus is still all right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So our <laughs> intro. It's like three rap dudes and singing it. Like it's oh, like, trying yeah. to make. Oh, then they'd put their head. They then they'd sort of break it all down. Yeah, yeah. So, we, <laughs> so our intro for DT, for Dream Team, we're like, Dream Team's all right with me. Dream Team's all right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> to their music. So we're like chuckling away at how funny that is. But like only as such a small <laughs> niche. <laughs> know why it's funny. That's and it's hilarious. because that, yeah. That Christian television brainwashing campaign. <laughs> yeah, we used it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And now, welcome to Christianity. Like, yeah, 100%. <laughs> like sign like when, up we a did, jokes on you. when we did <laughs> our live show last night, um, like I did the intro, we went to our old school. And when it comes to the old, yeah, they're all like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Little do they know. Right. They're like, they've been brainwashed <laughs> too. <laughs> they've been, yeah, they're in. They're in the class. So, boys, mm. we're powered by Fleet Network this year at Back Chat. And we've asked you greatest sporting achievement. And I've never had a group one. So, you've got the top of the table like that. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm still very suspect on Warney's contribution. you got to be yeah, honest. Yeah, no, it wasn't a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot, which is I, troubling. I was very good after the final yeah. siren, though. Yeah. I definitely, oh, he was. Best and it, was, on. it ended up in the grand final was in school holidays so we actually had we went a full week it was yeah pretty, yeah it didn't muck around it we sounds like what tom jonas was. is doing at the moment for port adelaide yeah. sweet <laughs> fuck all in the sand <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what it sounds like i do just need to give warney a bit of credit though um toe pokes out oh, of the goal square yeah. over the line What's unbelievable i think you snagged two on the so lazy yeah. to pick meters it up meters gained for goals would have been very very low so, you, so you've absolutely snatched it from yeah. the 100 yeah, no. i reckon he had two goals two meters gained yeah, yeah, for the day i've got size 10 feet because oh, i had size eight not. feet <laughs> would have bloody made so it. he did snag a couple ben mckinley i don't know if you remember that name from the west coast eagles you boys have heavy into into footy names i don't know if you, that rings your bell number 27 he wore for west coast he had a i would know benny mckinley had he, he Led West Coast goal kicking in about 2009 or 10. Yeah, right. Uh, he had a uncanny ability to kick goals from less yeah. than one metre yeah. from the goal line. Yes. And it's not a good thing, Ward. <laughs> <laughs> no, just all like you're a selfish bastard. Right? It's still in the paper. Especially yes. I'd always give myself a couple of extra too in the paper. Yeah. Because um, we'd have to you write those You used to give yourself there. votes. <laughs> yeah, you're in charge of the votes. <laughs> Look, that's, that's a lie. <laughs> Only happened a couple of times. But. 
So, yeah, I said I had three I just, goals. I, I should have had five. Yeah, I, I, two off his toe. I need to keep button in here. Otherwise, sorry, you guys sorry. are going to talk shit too long, yes, which is fine, is my true. man. Uh, fe- uh, Fleet Network. Driving the podcast, right? So Fleet Network, Nova Leasing Company. You guys want a car? We can sort you out in, down in mm. Tassie as well. Oh, okay. But I want to ask you about your first car, boys. I feel like... <laughs> Don't tell me you all shared a car while you were shared. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what your first car, colour, what, what it cost you. Tell me about the first car little story. Right. White Nissan Pulsator it was, a little hatchback. Wow. It was an 84 model. What was I, 97, 98? I didn't know all this. Keep Don't going. you remember that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I and then... That vehicle. I remember And it was like, it was tape, one of those typical player. little old, yeah, cassette player it. Plug the discman into it, like with the tape going through there. <laughs> Skipping oh, yeah. every fucking bump the, the, the tape road. with the wire yeah. coming out <laughs> of it. <laughs> it on there. Beautiful. I had an orange discman that uh, got a good workout. But discman. yeah, it was one of those ones from wow. um, like the typical story of a little old lady. Like it, it, I bought it, it was say 15 years old or whatever it would have been. And 40,000 kilometres on it type thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. So that was mine. I remember you your remember cow. mine. Bloody was a Maroon. The Hulk. Holden. I called it Hulk. 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 Holden, Holden, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the extent I even got a sticker made up, <laughs> yeah. a gold sticker that said Hulk, right? And it had it stuck on the back. Remember when we used to at uni go for like raids on people's houses yes. and stuff? It got hit with raids. an egg. It yeah, did, yeah. Like, just go what? up to people's houses just and eggs, like egg them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like mature. And stuff. <laughs> Being really <laughs> mature. Yeah. University <laughs> students are going to become teachers. Got, <laughs> it got hit with an egg. Yes. Right? It had like never a scar. Someone fly like, back. Yeah. It yeah. got hit with an egg. It had I a big think, massive mark on it. I'm yeah. still questioning whether that one was hard boiled. Yeah, I know. The damage on the vehicle. The Hulk didn't dent easy. It wasn't green. No, no. It was like a... Dirty maroon. Yes. It was like it was hot. hot. Very yeah. Calvin like. Yeah. I, had, I had a golden, um, golden, yeah, Holden Gemini automatic. <laughs> bah, bah, Man, that thing. It, oh, it got the stolen. Pizza, oh, yes. Is that the pizza yeah. one? Um, or was that another? No, one? that was another was one. The I pizza crashed one. that bad. Yeah. Your pizza yeah. delivery man. I had to go and get 10 pizzas for the boys. And <laughs> I'd drunk the least. It wasn't that far up the road. I no. probably should have. Could Under the Mo Ray Pizza Hut. So anyway, but this wasn't my fault. Now, <laughs> Nothing's ever your it's fault. It's not. It's bloody not. I rarely make mistakes. Now, um, so I had to pull out of this intersection to get the fat pigs their pizzas back. Yep. <laughs> and this guy called me out. So I've pulled out. Now I'm just looking to my left. Mm. Okay. Clear sailing. One lane, he has let me poke my head out. This person has come fanged around the nice person that let me out. Little, so I, did I know? Bang, big hip and shoulder in me bloody. The pizzas went frigging everywhere. Not a salvageable piece. It was spread out over the whole bloody car. I had a sore arm. I'm spinning around the frigging road. No pizza for the boys. No car for Boat me. Waters is bloody just run disaster. through on the freeway. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, that was a blue little Toyota that was I can't remember what it was but um, yeah you're right after one of our basketball games one night yep Usually we'd go out and celebrate with a few doughies in the jimmy because there was this nice big grass patch. If we won, we let everyone know. Um, <laughs> oh, boys. Well, I'll tell you what, good, good team. A lot yeah. of doughies. We had a lot of doughies. But this one night we've gone out to do it and I'm like, where did I park that thing? Nah, she was gone. Yeah. Yeah, popular. Stolen. Yeah, everyone knew it was, you know, could fang oh. out around the grass patches. <laughs> you Someone just reminded me of a story it. from West Coast. <laughs> I've never told. Uh, it's about doughies, right? So we used oh, yeah. to we used to um, we used to park. It used to be called Kitchener Park. It was above Subiaco. Oval. It was a it was a grass oval, but it was oh, yeah. a car park, right? Yeah. Anyway, like as young kids, like 17, 18 year olds, yeah. like I got over as a seventeen year old. Got my license under very, very suspicious circumstances. <laughs> Love it. I went into a back room, signed a jumper, and got oh. my license back. That's pretty, that's, nice. that's oh pretty much God, that's pretty how it. I got them. But um, that first year, when when you get like you know you boys know that you have ten blokes all under the age of nineteen and everyone yes. gets in the car at the same time, yes. everyone on the horns and yeah. Yeah. doing all this stuff. Like, like you know, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you're in like death vehicles, but like you're also <laughs> yes. acting like you're in a computer game. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, long story cut short, I was the, either the first or the last, and I started spinning the wheels, right, showing off to the boy. I had a white Magna, spinning yeah. them up. Like, hey, like, <laughs> <skinny on." laughs> yeah, right. Off we go. I'm a legend out the window doing these ones. Yeah, yes. Anyway, <laughs> come back to the club about a week later, and I get called into. Um, it was oh, no. Peter Worsfold, John Worsfold's brother. Oh, yeah. Who John Worsfold's hard, Pete's harder. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, Pete's a hard man. Pete calls me. He said, "Scoey, come in here." And I said, "No worries, mate." Probably gonna get get a game maybe yeah. the first year, <laughs> no worries. And Pete goes, um, 
And what were you doing last last Tuesday? And I said, oh, I don't know, sitting here training. Blah, blah. He goes, oh, you doing anything in your car? I said, nah, 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 all good. And he goes, we're doing any burnouts up on Kitchener, were you, mate? I said, no, mate, what are you talking about? No. Not me, he's like, well, mate, we've had reports um, come in. There's skid marks all over the place, up of fucking Oval. Um, you know, it's been, we've been told it's you. I said, oh, mate, absolutely not me. No chance whatsoever. Anyway, he spins his laptop around. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> Dead man. It's, there's a camera on top of one of the light decks up there that's literally... <laughs> This is before 4K HD, but somehow this fucking thing was like it was <laughs> like out of the future on my face as I'm out the window oh, no. <laughs> spinning my wheels. Oh, and it's literally just zoomed on me doing these. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, I've never told that before and I'd forgotten to move it from the back of my memory. Anyway, oh, and, and I, I just thought, I said, well, yeah, that is me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, perhaps, that one. Yeah, perhaps, yeah, yeah. Perhaps Watching the replay, was your form as good as it felt? Very good. Was yeah. it? Were you proud? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, it's good skinny, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> did he <laughs> like it a little bit? Or he, he did. He was yeah. 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 He liked, yeah, Don't do that again. Nah. Now, um, boys, I want to talk a little bit of footy with you while you're in here. Which, that's good. Uh, we're over here in the West. Um, you're very heavy fantasy guys. So am I. Maybe we should start in fantasy land. I think that actually might make more sense. Talk to me about fantasy football. People that don't understand it. Last year, we ran a fantasy competition on Backchat. Um, we had all of our VIPs enter, gave away grand final tickets for the winner. Um, we've gone into tipping this year because quite honestly, it it's a lot. Fantasy is a lot. It yes. requires a quick it's, commitment. It does. work. It's bloody yeah. hard work yeah. to be good at it. Yes. It is. Oh, it, it is. Yeah. But I think personally... And it takes some, a lot of hard work to be bad at it. Yeah, it does quite. <laughs> yeah, it does. Personally, I think for me, like I'm working in, 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 in mainstream, my fantasy love helps me like yes, forever because I know every player because yes. yeah, yeah. you have to be so detailed at mm. what you're doing and like Especially the know your shit and, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Fucking, it's great like mm. I don't have to prepare for some games because I'm like oh, I've got half of these boys in my dream so yeah, it's all yes. good yeah. fantasy footy like what? how is it in this country do you, do you, is, it, is it growing is it where's it come from where can it go to fantasy give me a give me a I don't know broad synopsis on it dog would be best you look at it go, well <laughs> Dog's a man at those answers. Yeah, it's going this all right, I we think. We're in a pretty yeah. good spot. Obviously, there's a couple of big games. We've got AFL Fantasy, which is what we're aligned to and affiliated, which did come from Dream Team, essentially. That's the official okay, AFL on, Dream one. Team, but um, that's all right. I'm, I'm not getting paid school. by anyone to talk about <laughs> this stuff. <so. laughs> exactly. And then you've got Supercoach by uh, the News Corp guys. They've got that going on. Shout out, shout out, Supercoach. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, Supercoach. Oh, yeah, got... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Okay, sign up. But they're the two big ones. Sign up, play. What a game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, sort of numbers are, I don't know, we're about 150K. Then wow. A that's, few more. That's a lot. It is. Mm. And so it's like the day, back in the day, they used to be like higher, like towards 300. Mm. Yeah. But mm. you could only be in one league at a time. Right. So a lot of people had a couple of accounts or multiple mm. accounts. So they could be in a right. few more leagues. And that was a bit of a false economy of what huh. that was, I think. And, and then, you know, people that had time to have a WAGS team as well sort of thing to... Just yeah. make sure they've got their chance, which we actually win it from WA. I was, I was going to say, I was ringing some bells. I mean. one there, but yeah, so that's it. So make sure make sure you do enter a team in AFL Fantasy and your dog can probably even have one as well. So. Correct. Um, but yeah, that's... So yeah, it's in but a pretty yeah. healthy spot, but I think the thing is the community is what it's all about. Yeah. And I reckon that's as big as it's ever been. Like this year, it's been a challenging year. Like we're bloody copping bullets all day here at the moment with the players I was going to say, we've left our phones on silent. Trying to uh, minutes, see sorry. if we can field an actual team this week because all the cows down yeah. It's funny you mentioned the community, right? So I've, I've been in a league with my schoolmates since year seven, right? Yeah, and so I'm cool. 34 years old. We literally daily, I've got a, I've got a message thread in my phone, mm. Dream Team. And there's like eight blokes in it. Talks yeah. And we just talk shit about footy. It's cool, and isn't That's it? what you guys are doing mm. for a job effectively, teaching as well. But... That, that's what it's about. It's actually, it is. people think fantasy is about fantasy. It's actually about your mates. Yeah, talking oh, shit. yeah it's about winning time. the car or winning whatever you're trying to do. But yeah, and that's the connection what it's all about. Like even, so last night we've done a show, yep. um, a couple hundred people there, and they're just there because they love talking shit and yeah. the, the banter that it's about. And like your leagues, that's our way of catching up with each other. Like right. We've got mates in our league that are in different states. And yeah. 
you know, you're playing in that week and that's probably your excuse to get on the blower and give them a call. 100%. Mm. Outside of the, the shit talk that you have in your WhatsApp group and stuff like that all the time. Correct. So I think that's, yeah, it's a massively underrated part of the game, I reckon, is that that community. And the other side of it too is not only your mates, but almost the people you meet out of it. Like I think the, the way the world works with the internet these days, like mm. the, the young kids are all into, the old internet's cow. They, um, <laughs> they, but you, you meet people through yeah. that and you might end up in a league with some guy that you'd never met before yeah. and, you, and they end up being mates because you yeah. go and then catch up and uh, have some you and you realise you're a normal person. Yeah, a common line um, from people that come to the shows is, I'm oh, sorry if this sounds weird, but like I feel like I'm your mm. mate. And that's how they open the conversation. And yeah. it's like, that is 100% like what Warney said. That's what we try to create. And that's what it's all about, that community. So catching up with your proper mates, great excuse for that. But the extended mateship that comes from it, and you find that, um, like at a show like last night, so many of them are like, I feel like I'm your mate just because I sit and listen to you yeah. for four hours well, a we're week. We're in Western Australia. Shit. We're in Perth. Yeah, 100%. Oh, fantasy so, footy capital of the world. Yeah, too. yeah. So that's... Um, <laughs> the mecca. Do you guys do draft your, your and your mates? Or is it just yeah, I've, I've got... Mo- mate, I'm, I'm yeah. a fancy head. Like, I've got multiple. I've got. I've been a draft league, yes. Yeah, because yeah, draft's grown... Big. Yeah, like it's getting bigger and bigger by the day, and that's, and that's a way you can US. have a lot of fun, especially with your mates too. Like we, we've now turned that into a weekend away. Draft the draft in, draft weekend is one of the best. best. Yeah, like oh, that now is amazing. another excuse, especially as becoming old men that you don't so always many. get the leave pass when you need to. It's like yeah. going, mm. yep, yeah, March long weekend, we yeah. are away and book our Airbnb and we're always drink a lot of piss and talk a lot of shit. So while we're in fantasy land. Uh, yeah, correct. That's, we just need to get that out to 365 days that we need excuses to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, it's work. That's yeah, one correct. big week working, call as so well. Working. Going, yeah, to... uh, so so um, it's a big deal for us, right? So it's for relevance. Yeah, since year seven, we've got a, we've got a trophy. We've got law, rule books. We've got punishments. We've got yes. a, a, a yes. fund like you've got to pay to enter our league. Yep. Yep. No one's ever been kicked. Like it's, it's the yep. same people all the time. There is some um, there is some issues around the <laughs> logins of a couple of the teams. Potentially, James Ratcliffe, uh, shout out, uh, maybe running more than one of the teams. Oh, oh, still, can't, oh, still can't fucking win it. Controversy, yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, one of our guys is in the top five in Australia right now. Oh, oh wow! wow. Oh, yes. and you know, you know, you, so this is Steen. Doctor so Drill. Oh. Doctor Drill. With your head Drill. looking at us yeah. every time we get on that yeah. leaderboard. So he is in. Uh, I'm just checking right now. He's in the top five in the league right now. He's been he's been number one for most yeah. of the year. Yeah, he has one two, and it's it's hectic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if you boys have ever had like like no like, never. Correct, <laughs> mate. Like and and it's that hard to be good at it. He's yes. good, and he's yeah. where is he sitting? Right now he's second. He's second in the yeah. country right I'll now. Tell you what, it's a bloody as good as it is. It's a curse I've never yeah. had to deal with oh, because it's brutal. But he's under that stress, much pressure. Yeah, like I wonder how he's he went with the it. carnage. This, yeah, no, that's the thing. He brought in fucking Caleb Daniel last night. Oh, so did the oh, boy. Oh fuck, man. He, was he probably hopeless. listened to you. Worst score of the year. Oh, he's probably listening to the boys. He had sixty-five or something like that. Yep. Yeah. So Jeez. like, so something like that. Like I know, and it could be ruining his chance at the car. He's, it would ruin his weekend. He's rattled at the yeah. moment. Yeah, it would cost me sleep. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, rattled. It. Especially yeah. the first game of the weekend makes that so hard. Yes, then you're watching the rest of it, knowing you are behind. So that. like yeah. our league's decent. We got uh, second. We got forty fourth. Uh, we're a top thousand. I'm just inside ten thousand. I've had a brutal year this year. My fantasy stuff. Yeah, you guys are always good over here, though. It is. It's a fantasy capital. A I, lot of winners have come from here, like yeah. WA. That's the. I the love. Thing. Well, more more is magic over yeah. here. Yeah. Selby, Selby yep. kills it. Like clearly, yeah. I, mean, I feel like he's just. He's got that good that he's retired from the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. <laughs> Give everyone else a go. <laughs> no, he's like, and he's he's a he's a ripper as well. I just like you boys said. Like I just love the. the Community element, but the pressure of actually. Oh yeah, I'd never. I'd actually rather be. I'd actually rather be shoot at it. Yeah, way safer. I'm very good at doing that. Yeah, Yeah. I'm. I always say I'm in (laughs) perfect. I'm in perfect (laughs) territory at the moment. Um, I'm sitting about three thousand. You want to be about a thousand where we are, because if you're too good, you cop heat for like. You bloody cheating, you <laughs> nah, rah, rah, rah. And then if you're out where these two are, it's like, why would I listen to you? You say <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> so one about 1,000, I reckon, and then finish just inside the 1,000. That's our safe place. It is. It's a There's no zone. pressure. Yeah. Yep. yeah. West Coast and Freo, boys. Uh, we are in Western Australia. Talk to me about those two teams in fantasy terms, but also how are you seen all that? I'll tell you right now, it's pretty fucking grim being in the media over here, yeah. boys. Yeah. It's, a gr- it's a grim season. Yeah, I reckon. Well, 
we could look at West Coast for next year. Harley yeah. Reid, is he going to end up there? I reckon I reckon put him in. Yeah, yeah. So and we're going to pick him. I was saying split them, split the picks, yeah. yep. get a big bunch of guys in. And then I saw Ruben, uh, the boy, Jimby, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Elijah Hewitt play. And I'm like, yeah. Put Ali Reid with those two. Mm. You have literally the best midfield in the competition There's in five a lot. years. There's like, a lot. There you go. Yeah. Whereas if you split them and you, you know, get some absolute mm. money bags forward, mm. chuck them down there, maybe get a ruckman or something. Like you don't want that. No. You want the you want the big dogs in the middle. Yeah. Right? No. So no. We're looking yeah. towards next year, Harley Reid will be a lock for us. But I don't know. There'll be a lot of underpriced players for the Don't Eagles. hassle the Hoff looked good. Yeah. Last week, Hoffy, he's good man. He's from down, marks. down in uh, Peel Thunderway. Yeah, he's a Mandra boy. We yeah. like Hoffy a lot. Yes, the Dockers. I mean, yeah, they've created some real issues this Crikey. year. No, we five. just got guns there in Brayshaw and Sorong. Yes. They're, they're going to be sitting there for there. the next decade and as our top and the Darcel. Yeah, Darcel, John Darcel. I remember I did the draft league with you boys maybe last year, and I took Sean Darcy That's in right. the first right. bit. Oh, you did too. I don't think, any of any of it was part, I don't think we paid any attention to that later. I don't think that no, 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 But no. we, did, we yeah, we did it off for clicks. I was, yeah. I, yeah, I was a year too early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. God, he's, he's good, good at the moment, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, we like him. Yeah, um, yeah, I like him a lot. And what about, look, I've, I've had this, you know, as a player, ex player, never had myself in my own fantasy team. Mm. Lockdown defender, yeah. Dower. <laughs> yeah. not, not a sort of fantasy top operator, really. Yeah. Do you think there's room in the game? For some some spoiling points, boys. Well, yeah, that's a good thing in draft because you can actually edit your really? uh, scoring in there. Yeah. Can so, you put spoiling in there? Yeah, yeah. Now, we had this conversation last. Yeah. Was it last year? Yeah, Trying yeah. to work out how many points should a spoil be worth. So you're stopping. So you're like, you got a kick. You got yeah. a kick that's a worth three. A handball's worth two. Marks well, worth tackle's three. Tackle's four. Yeah, that's it. So that's, what's a spoil? I think it's got to be tackling. four, mate. Tackling. How did you average in your career? Tackles. No spoils. Well. Let me take you back. 2011, one of my great accomplishments. I was runner up in the one percenters for the year. I was oh, behind. Good and this is shit. I should remember his name. Uh, great Dower type operator at Western Bulldogs. <laughs> like, did his knee and like played like two months later. Dale Morris. Oh, yeah. I love wow. Dale Morris. Dale Morris won it. He beat me by one. Mm. I was going into the last round of the year and I was the only other person in the, in the country that knew about this actual stat. <laughs> and I knew about it. And I had 14 one percenters in my last game. 14 is pretty good That's areas. Pretty good effort. And he, he was one in front of me coming in and he got 15 and oh, he did me by yeah. two in the, in the year. So I think you should be able to get four points for a spoil in regular. Yeah, I'm up for that. That would put about, your average up yeah. there and be you'd be selectable. It, it's about time we started showing some respect to some backmen, and I don't yes. mean these backmen like Nick Dacos running around, no. right? Doing what they want. Headless chunks. Oh, yes. I want backmen to get some respect in your game, boys. Yeah. And I, I feel like I, you boys may be the guys to pull the trigger. I don't well, know. Warnie can. Yeah, I've got all. He's the got all. He's that, got all so. the buttons. I would like yeah. to put on the agenda, mm. and I'm not joking. I want spoils on the agenda for next year in regular. Regular Just fantasy. Regular I think fantasy it's fair. Scoring. Look, it's never going to happen. They've already looked into it. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it in the suggestion box. Yeah. I think it's a significant enough action, the spoil, to deserve more credit than it gets. I, is it? Is it a clear cut stat? Like, is it anything up oh, to interpretation? That's well, the thing, because that's the one thing we like about white. fantasy. Well, tackle, well, tackles is pretty. Well, sometimes yeah, tackles got the definition. Although you two no. whinge about that on social no. media, oh, because they can't tackle. follow their Jeremy own God, definition, John. There is a there is a shortcut on my on my computer <laughs> at all times <laughs> ranked by spoils, mate. I I follow the. Well, spoiling it's there market. to be done. Yeah, yeah. It's there, boys. Like it's not as live as a kick and a handball. Obviously, they, no. I think they like a champion data records it though. I, I just think I think there's areas there. Do we we show some respect yeah, to the backman? I think I think you're going overs with four. I'd meet you at two. Oh, I don't know. How about so what, how we made, um, we what's that? An three. average of twelve at the moment. <laughs> okay, yeah, average of twelve was. That uh, no, that's that was for one round. So oh, yeah. leading, uh, we'll give you a spoil breakdown for the entire <laughs> please, season. Please do. <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think is leading in? The... Oh, since they twenty eighteen, you average six point three spoils a game. Disposals. Oh, sorry, six point three spoils. I wouldn't be surprised if it was disposals. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be over that one. Four disposals. Six point <laughs> four disposals. <laughs> Four spoils and disposals, yeah. like genuinely. No, so no. this year, the clear cut leader in the competition at the moment, Harris Andrews, 142 spoils. So we're talking about eight, ten. Nine. Yeah. That's impressive too. That's pretty he good. His fair share so if he months, has so. eight, nine, and yeah. you give him two, that's only sixteen. Yeah, yeah you're Is right. Is it three? I'd because like 
So if you gave if you gave him four, he'd be one of the best fantasy operators in the country. He would. Harris Andrews. Mm. Uh, so I'll give you the top Pink five. Status. Give you the top five. Sam Collins, absolute Dow operator. We absolutely love him. He's on 134 spoils. 127. Brennan Cox, absolutely under a fucking barrage back there at the Dockers. Yes. At the oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jack Buckley, who is our favourite. Yes. We will be sponsoring Jack Buckley in 2023. Nice. You can play. You can sponsor players. He's available. He is available. We spoke <laughs> to the CEO Dave Matthews <laughs> nice. in Epic. Sydney. Yeah. We went there just to get that deal done, and we got it done. He's on 126, one behind Brennan Cox. And then Darcy Moore, 119. I reckon he's a surprising one. He's wow. not as dour yeah, as the others. Yeah. Yeah. No. But that's your top five. A bit more extra spunk too. Uh, he'd be a good fantasy. Look, I, I, look those names to me should be household names. Harris Andrews, Sam Collins, Brandon Cox, Jack Butley, da Darcy Moore, Tom Barras, da Dougal Hout, Dougal Hout. <laughs> Dougal, <laughs> yes. Nick Murray, Lewis Young, Alir Alir. Is that yeah. good? He's got to nah, <laughs> say his name twice. I do remember... The year, so you won one of our drafts. You did, did give spoils yeah. a bit of love. Yeah, I did. And we I did. Did. it got those key defenders right up near that, probably averaging 90 plus. Yep. And, and it was I an issue with our good. league that key year. Fords, mm. Key Fords got 10 points for a goal. I went rogue. Changed the game. Bit. Yeah, we had this rule oh, where the winner from the last year could make three changes to our yep. league, like scoring or other different things. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. And he's gone because you've got that, um, you can change your points with the yes. fantasy draft game. And so Cow went in and did that. But the moronic thing that oh, he did with that, bad. we're doing all this content. Oh, yeah. We're shit. talking stats. We're doing these numbers. Oh, geez. Harris Andrews is doing well this year. He's averaging 95 points. Yeah, in our draft league, not in like yeah. normal fantasy. <laughs> he's so he's about it in, mate, he's a good pickup in, in the normal AFL classic. record. There's going to be things in there. Because <laughs> the he that's left hard. it on the draft <laughs> stats. <laughs> yeah, oh, Cole Hutchinson, the bloody statisticians, not liking that. No. Yeah. yeah. I've got one last thing to throw at you, boys, because we're going to wrap this up. I think Dan's going to go pick the kids up or something like that. School holidays over here. Um, late team changes and. Mm. God, oh, bullshit. Come on. At, and. <laughs> and. <laughs> Like non divulgence of injuries oh, that are clearly it's getting, there. Where do we start? Disgraceful. Can, can you blokes talk to me about it? I literally go oh, off my rocker every week. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And like, it's purely because of my fantasy team. Yeah, I mask yeah, it right. with, yeah. oh, the game and the culture and all this bullshit. I'm like, my fucking dream exactly. team. Exactly. What is the point <laughs> of the event that they create with Thursday night teams? Well, yeah, we lost are... it a couple of years ago. Well, yeah, they true. brought it back, but. So it's just pointless. Like Tom Green. That was. Correct. That was bullshit. They knew his hand was done. Yeah, say it. Just say it. What Correct. advantage did they gain? I'm keeping it a secret. Preaching to the choir here, boys. Oh, keeping it a secret. Sorry. From who? Oh, just exactly. Tell, just and then him. you get found out and you look like idiots. Well, you you've got, you've got members that should know. I know GW, GWS don't, but yeah, you've got <laughs> members should know <laughs> this sort of stuff. A little off the pads. <laughs> and look, <laughs> looking, after, looking after your fans should yeah. be what it's all about. Name your turn. Clayton up. Oliver. Nick Nananui. Yeah. Like, let, let these guys that, that they know that like Stringing I've been inside along. the clubs. Just so you know, yeah. they fucking know. Yeah. They yeah. all know. They, oh, they yeah. know the instant that happens. So what about Geelong? Oh. Medium oh. term. Hayden Young in a moon. Not boot. short term. That, that, long term. That's, they that, that's they one thing that's good for us. Like with our fantasy stuff. Like we've got Roy's got his team awesome source. Oh, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Like, so oh, they come like, out yeah. and he'll get some squirts, as we like to call it, from the source <laughs> bottle. <laughs> <laughs> can go a different way sometimes, but um, yeah, they, we get those coming through, and nine times out of ten, yeah, they've so got a amazing. little bit of uh, a little bit of a scent to them. Because well. I've got a, a selection criteria, mm. <laughs> I will not release your first um, squirt. <laughs> so it needs you can't to, just be squirting around. No, it's like no, hundred percent. No, you You're cannot. Um, so you I need to verify you with mm. a team awesome source badge before. I will break news with your story. Right. So last night was a perfect example of a, a virgin. Um, came to me <laughs> with a fresh story. Hadn't squirted anything at me before. <laughs> and he was all over the Tom Green thing. Yes. So I had to go through. And we're about to do our live show, but it was relevant. I had to do my questioning that I've got to earn the badge. And it was all looking really good yes. to the point where I couldn't release it because he didn't have his badge. But he had shown enough that... I was, I believe. You trusted it. it right? I trusted it. So, you released so, it. so I didn't release it on social media because that creates. Oh, so, yeah. so not a full squeeze. No, nah. no, just enough for the people at the live show. So they were on cloud nine because they just had Errol Gordon, Tim English, the Bond vice captain Sizzle. was done. So everyone's oh, there walking around yeah, like a peacock, and then 
especially I got to see the dog go flat because yeah, he didn't good. know and he'd burned his trades already. <laughs> yeah, that's a shit thing. <laughs> Tell us before <laughs> yeah. the freaking game Yeah, so this stuff. guy, and I would have, I would have told you had I known, but it was like half time of the game. And no, half time of the game and the guy's gone, yeah, Tom Green out, three to four week hammy. Wow. Yeah, so it was actually... That bomb was dropped at our live show. That's like the that's Hayden Young one this mm. week, though. You know, club said so, nothing. He's in a moon oh. boot at a bloody McDonald's doing a. I thing. covered that game on the boundary. Yeah. I, in the last quarter, I see him come off, right? And he's in my dream team. So, there's a little secret, right? So, I'm doing boundary, right? When you hear me on Fox, <laughs> yes. if I'm ever distracted, it's because I'm checking the scores, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'd, it's, I'd expect like, nothing like, like I literally have one hand, one yeah, phone. Will down on the boundary. Yeah. yeah. Will? Sorry, Hayden Young on 73 points. So, so Hayden Young's in my team. Yeah. Right? And Sarong's in my team. So I've had a fucking good week there. Yes. I saw Hayden Young come off in the last quarter. Yeah. And he was, someone was wrong with his ankle. Yeah. And so I said on radio, sometimes I just like to give a little squirt myself, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. And I said, look, don't be surprised if Hayden Young misses. I don't reckon the conversations were, were great. Mm, uh, yeah. And then I see him out. I'm like, I've, I knew this before yes, they've released yeah. it. It's yeah, bullshit. It is. And I love what you've said there. And you, you touched on it earlier and we didn't um, go on with the conversation. But you said how, because of our fantasy teams, we're so invested in players and stuff that quite often you are way ahead of the mainstream yeah. media. You listen to the commentary and it pierces your ears because they, they say the dumbest stuff when you know. Hey, I'm happy to put my hand up and say that's something that's yeah. me. <laughs> but it's because I'm but, checking my dreams. But like um, Darcy Cameron last mm. week. I watched him like a hawk because he was in my team. You could see I, I saw what happened Same. and I saw him just limping around after that, could not jump, could not run. Correct. So it was no surprise that he was obviously yes. in line to miss, but it didn't, it got to a Thursday and people were like, oh, I think there's, I think there's a worry, a concern here with, Mate. oh, Darcy Cameron, sorry. Yeah. They listened to the trainers podcast on Monday. <laughs> they would have known. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, boys, we're going to have to wrap this up shortly. I did want to finish with, Tasmania, mm. team mm. in Tassie. Oh. Hell yeah. How fucking good. Oh, it's it's awesome. amazing. It's oh, awesome. If it just happens. needs to happen. It will happen. What's going on down there? Can it's we sort it out? Seriously. Just a, it's just become too political. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know, the Labor's now trying to make it their way of knocking off Liberal Party. Like now, not, not doing the stadium. Yeah. Now. Just, oh, yeah, they want to go yeah. against it and... Uh, that's just what it is. But should all be together doing it? You, all you both want a team, right? Oh, yeah. We want a team and we have to have a stadium together. And we want so a stadium. Just do let's it. Do We'd it. have done the stadium, yeah. exactly. Um, one thing I will say, you cannot, and people say this all the time, but you cannot trust the media reports about it. That <laughs> protest they said was five or 10,000 people. That didn't happen. No. It was like five or 600. Maybe they counted the people at Salamanca Market on Sunday <laughs> down at... <laughs> Mate, the the media's lost <coughs> the media's lost the plot, yes. especially social media. Jerry Whateley's had a full. Oh, 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 yes. This is the best. <laughs> this is awesome. What what is actually? I don't think. Unfortunately, like, look, I'm I'm empathetic, right? Yeah. I understand. I live in the space. Yeah. You boys live in the space. Yeah. People can be critical. Yes. Things can happen in social yes. media land that I don't understand sometimes. Yeah. But clearly, yeah. I'm not actually sure if Jared understands no. how the internet works. No. Because what's happened is... Or is he nabbing people? I don't know if he's trolling. At this yeah. stage, yeah. I think yeah. he might actually be reverse trolling. I, I don't because, think so. Because I, there's a... I there's wish a, he was. For those people listening along, watching along, a false, false quotes come out. It was right? funny. It was a it good was quote. Funny. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it's, com it's compared. <laughs> Lionel Messi, yeah. the, the perhaps, you know, arguably, yeah. but pretty closely, yeah. not yeah. even argument, the greatest yes. soccer player of yep. all time. Yes. Yep. To grind Myers. Yes. <laughs> Hilarious. We love yeah. Grind Myers. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He's having a good year. Yes. Maybe all Australia. He's good for right? him He's too, good. Yep. But he ain't fucking no, he's 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 the ground. Yeah, 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 so yeah. because he reacted to it, people so, have now gone harder at him. Of course they have. They're making t-shirts. <laughs> it's like full boomer mode though. Like that's what he's like. He's Mate, gone he, there. He's, he's just lost out. the plot. Yeah, oh, he completely badly. lost the plot and started hitting people up individually yep. and saying, yep. take this down. Are you yep. okay? Yes, are you okay? Please trolls. Please trolls take this down. Yeah. So, so Roy, Roy, Roy does a good job. Good morning. <laughs> Social media <I'm, laughs> provides everybody the opportunity to speak their mind. Their mind. Do not use it as a platform to speak the mind of other people. Now, there was an incident yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The thing is, was he never picked on as a kid? Right? I don't know, mate. Yeah, I'll say a fair if you react to it, 
It comes back with interest. The only way to he react to it. He used to wear a Nike swoosh <laughs> earring. I dare say he's <laughs> put up with his own. Did he? Yeah. Did he or harassment. not? Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's a photo. He's a photo. I'm being it's trolled. true or not? <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> oh, sorry, So I, I had our content team turn something around on the back of it because I just thought it was fucking hilarious. Like, yeah. just have a laugh about it. Oh, yes. So, yes. so I had, I've been, I've actually got an announcement made to the public. I've been deep faked, boys. You know what deep faking is, right? <laughs> yeah. It's where they like, yeah, AI is that good. Yeah. They can put your body together, oh, yeah, yeah. make it look like you've said something. Yeah. yeah. So it was just a quote. I have release. seen that. Is that what it's called? Have you seen what they've done to me? No. <laughs> Mate, pre-season this year, they have pulled it all the way back. They have me predicting West Coast to make the finals <laughs> and the Fremantle Dockers <laughs> yeah, and the Fremantle yeah. Dockers to finish top two. It, it looks like I've yeah. said it. I'm just here to tell you, trolls, the time to take it amazing. down. <laughs> right, what's the exact quote that he said? <laughs> Hang on, I'll get a read it out. Oh, that's okay. awesome. Come on, trolls, do the right thing. <laughs> delete delete help. this fake quote. It's really quite simple. So uh, my message to everyone who has oh. deep faked me into this clip. I'll show you the clip, boys. Look at it. Hey, I'll, I'll show you. I'm a big believer uh, in the West Coast Eagles making finals this year. Um, you did I'm, say I'm, that, I'm, I'm didn't you? I'm quite high on I think they'll finish anywhere from fifth through to eighth. I'm not sure. AI is very it. good. I think AI is <laughs> very good. I have not said that. I think Roy's getting fucked here. I but believe so it's you. It's not you me, mate. You did that, didn't you? No, it's not me, mate. mate it just is. Like, I'm getting punked here. Yeah, yeah something going on. <laughs> <laughs> on yes, yeah, so you're getting punked, boy. This is, this is my version of Jerry Whaley. It would be like me going around if yes. someone put that up and being like, I can't believe you just said, who gives a shit? Have a laugh. That's oh, it. exactly. Yeah. Although, he's got some good merch now coming so out. So he's a genuine merch company. Yeah, yeah just just he so gets no money good. from it, unfortunately, <laughs> but some people are going to make triggered. a killing. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to stop paying out people. Are we going to turn their mics off and um, go and have another shelter, boys? I think the Back Chat Ale should be here somewhere, hopefully. Oh, like that. We're going to have one yes. of those. Um, boys, loving what you're doing in content land. Um, sign up to Fantasy. Sign up to Supercoach if you like. Supercoach. Um... But honestly, boys, it's been a pleasure. I've been big fans for a long time, and it's uh, been an honor to have you in here. Thanks, for thanks, having thanks for having you're doing awesome, awesome stuff too, and we love yes. what you're doing, mate. It's uh, great to have good people like you all it on is. board, it's bloody yes. good because we're all just normal people, just love Correct. watching people count up their points whilst having a beer. So let's go and have one. Building the community. Cheers, boys.